In vocal methods, I used to call a single apex class. In vocal methods of dynamic input and output values, they're commonly used by Process Builder and Einstein bots. For things such as creating an account, updating a case status, finding out the name of an account using an ID, and lots of things like that. We'll take a look at two examples. In the first example, we will find out the name of an account by inputting an ID. And in the second, we will create an account by inputting the account's name. You'll notice that there are five steps to an invocal method. And once you accomplish these five steps, you have an invocal method. There are five steps to writing an invocal method. The first step is we have to label the action. With this invocal method, we want to get a, the account name. And to do that, we need to give the account's ID. So once we have the account's ID, we go to the third step, which is a SQL query. We do a search for name from an account where the ID matches the ID we're, we're inputting. And our SQL query holds the results in this list called accounts. And for each account within the account, we insert it in this list. And in the end, we return this list. So as you can see, there are five steps to writing an vocal method. First is just to reiterate, we give a label to the action, and to achieve this action, we have an input, a SQL query, a for loop, and an output. Basically, these are the five steps for writing an invocal method. So let's see in practice how our invocal method works. So the Apex class is called account query action. The label of the invocal method though is get account name. And just to remind you what it does is it returns the list of account names corresponding to the specific account IDs. All right, so we're giving it an ID and it'll give us the name of the account corresponding to that ID. Um, all right, let's see how it works inside the bot. The bot asks, what account ID would you like me to look up? We'll provide an account ID. Let's say this one. The bot then runs this ID through the invocal method by inputting the account ID and outputting the account name. And then it displays the account's name. All right, so let's see this in action. All right, our bot is starting up and it's asking us, what account ID would you like me to look up? We say this account ID and it says the account's name is test. All right, so let's check. All right. And here it is, test, yeah? And we can check, let's call it invocable method, the account name. Let's check again that it works. So we could go back to the bot. Let's start it out again. So we give it the same account ID. Now it says the account's name is invocal method. So it works.